friends, it's Nancy. Got a thrift haul for you today. Mostly books, but I hope you enjoy it anyway. <laughs> if you like books as much as I do. This one's about sunflowers. And I thought, what a great journal this would make. That's the front cover. Uh, but look at these um, papers on the, the inside. Lots of um, images, art. Has a special... Um, section about Van Gogh's uh, sunflowers. So lots of good stuff there. That's pretty. The next book I want to show you, um, I haven't seen this one before. This is, uh, it's called Garden Notes, but it's, it features Edith Holden images. Oh, index card. So it looks like, I love these butterflies, looks like for every month it has the big um, image from not nature notes, but uh, country diary. Pretty, pretty. So I think that was a good find. Um, tell you the truth, I can't even remember where I found it now. <sighs> Just checking for a date. 84. This one I got last week, paid 50 cents for it, so it's a it's a newer edition of Grey's Anatomy, but the print is teeny tiny and it still has all the black and white anatomy pictures, and it was 50 cents, you know? Somebody will enjoy that. This one I thought was a lot of fun. Um, This is a reprint. Oh, sorry. Just grabbing something that fell in the garbage before it got lost. This is a reprint of a catalog where you could order a house and it shows all the plans and the costs for the house. So you could choose a house you wanted and get it delivered. There's mostly exteriors, there's a couple interior drawings. Um, but I thought that was really neat, and I like that it's um, sort of that landscape direction, rather, so that uh, when it goes, the individual pages go into journals, it can be folded in half that way. That's cool. This is a piece of music from... ...1900. So it's got some old tape holding it together really um, nicely aged. I like the one on the back too because it's got brown instead of black. I think I showed you that one before. This one, it's an older book. I paid 50 cents for it. I think it's like a children, not children, but like, you know, a young person's book. Um, 1940. This one's a book of music, and again, I uh, love what's going on here. Look here, <laughs> 1942, and it's just really beautiful. Nothing to interrupt the music, just, just notes. This is a little French book. Um, it says it was purchased in Quebec City, 1940, and it's all in French. A 
this journal was actually a gift that I got last week after pr doing a presentation. They gave me a big gift bag and it had this uh, composition book in it. So it can be gutted. And it has the um, Wilfrid Laurier, what do you call that? Shield? Coat of arms? I'm not sure. So it's uh, got it's sewn in. Um, some more music. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And of course, this is flute music, so it only has the the treble clef. And more flute music. This is a children's book, but it's got some interesting swan illustrations in it. Is there too much glare going on here? Maybe just a little bit too much glare. But some nice pictures. I've had this book before, um, and I like it for collage because it looks collaged. Uh, every page has something going on. So keep your eye out for this. If I've picked it up twice, it's obviously out there. Very cool. The maps have flip outs. I'm not sure. Oh, these are just little um, place cards. There's another book Golden Rule Bookstore. Um, gotta turn the light back. not seeing a date but that looks sort of late 20s early 30s got quite a few illustrations in it wasn't sure what I was getting here this drawer pulls out it's um, American Geographical Society. So there's Indonesia, Yugoslavia, and Poland. And this one has stickers in it. Um, 1962. But there's some line drawings. I like the cover. I, I think that would be neat for something. Um, this one doesn't have the stickers put in the right spots yet. So that's awesome. That was Yugoslavia. This one is Poland. And it also has the stickers still in the center of the book. So it's just the Indonesia one that's already been stickered. So I thought that was fun. Never seen those before. Um, some napkins. Got a little golden book of trolls. This one I've had before too. Um, it's got really pretty illustrations in it. Bees and spiders, butterflies. Lots of flowers. Some little darling has done some uh, drawing in there. But so I went to the local scrapbook store last weekend. They were having a yard sale so customers could tag items that they wanted to get rid of and put them for sale. So it was only two days long. Um, I got all of this. I feel like there's more. 
it might be more. I got all of this for twelve dollars. So these are Valentine dies. So there's a lips and a kiss and a cupid and a heart and a rosebud and an arrow. This one I really thought was neat. It's called Office Supplies. Then there's this stamp. Um, so it looks like it will stamp like doilies. This pretty neat. And here's some more stamps. This is Stampin' Up. I like that butterfly. And this one is uh, labels. Not very big labels, but they're nice. And then there was this bag of tags. Um, so it had these ones. And then this package of um, craft tags. And then these little um, metal rim tags. The whole bag was 50 cents. So I think I did really good. Um, I didn't get there till almost close on Friday, which was their last day. So, or sorry, it was the, their first day, and there wasn't a lot left. Most of the dies that they had left were the big um, Sizzix ones. Oh, this was fun. Got the stationery set. Got it all ripped apart, of course. And. That's the envelopes. And let me bring the writing paper up a little closer. I can get it out of there. Put that there so I can pull it up with the ribbon. So it looks like it's you know some kind of a an invoice or something. So there's a lot there. Lots of envelopes. And then um, there's another package of envelopes. And then these flowers and this um, herb. So that was a good find. I can definitely use the paper. Probably the envelopes. Um, I've got these old vintage baby cards, baby announcements. So that one says, I'm a boy. Look at his little face. This one's a thank you card. There's quite a few there. This one looks a little, little newer. And then there's two of these. Uh, those were cute. I got this at the the Way and Pay. bag of stuff. I thought, oh, mm -mm. it was 99 cents for the whole bag, but these are pieces of a handkerchief. Like somebody's cut. There was white, pink, and blue, and then the yellow one looks like it's whole. Um, I have no idea where these came from. This one's linen. So, they're not really that exciting. I like the linen one. Maybe I can tear that up for something. But the trim's not very nice. So I'm a little disappointed in that. This one's linen. has a little bit of machine embroidery. Um, but, you know, 99 cents. That's linen as well. And it had this cross-stitch sampler in it, too. Anyway, this was... 99 cents at Valley Village. And these were all from the Way and Pay. These are cute little illustrations in here. 
some of black on white alternating with color. I think this is from 1958. No, maybe copyright 1958. Oh, book club edition 1976. And there's Charlie Brown. Uh, a couple of Christmassy ones. This one is the Christmas Mouse. And the, they, they have some really cute mousy pictures in here. And this one. Ah, I love this one. I have got like a huge envelope full of flower fairy stuff. Um, a lot of it I've already fussy cut. It's ready to go. Um, and then I found this. And it has these great images that will make fantastic journal cards. So I'm excited about that. Really happy I found it. And then... That'll be easy to take these out because it looks like it already wants to pop out. Look at that. Isn't she a sweetie? Uh, got some doilies. This was a, at the weigh and pay as well. So they need to be starched before they can become anything too exciting. But they're a nice um, thin weight crochet, not the heavy stuff. This is kind of, feels kind of icky. It needs to be washed, but I, I think that's an old piece of lace. And then this one has some crocheted trim on it. This, this stuff is nice um, to use. And this one says handmade Belgian lace. So it's that tape lace. I found, found this old bingo game. It's got the numbers in there. I like those. And the markers. Are really neat looking. They're like these little brown, almost wooden discs. Like they're hard wood, I think. And it's, uh, uh, I don't see any date on it. Oh, there's the rules. found this How to Draw Wildlife book. Again, this was at the Way and Pay. And it's got some really gorgeous images. Like some of them are, you know, big. But some of them are just little ones. And, and then there's like... Like just heads and... There's some really pretty images in there. Found this notepad for downtown Kitchener. Oh, I've got this little, it's just a journal, but the paper in it is so nice. So I'll tear that apart found 
this account book. That'll be coming apart. And these little notebook sheets. This is a book from Kodak about how to use a flash. See how hard it was to take a photo? No wonder we didn't have very many. Now everybody's got a camera in their pocket. I found that really interesting. I'm uh, looking forward to getting a better look at it. We're almost done. Best. I'm not sure if I showed you this lace already. I feel like I did. Um, there's a piece of crochet lace. This is actually knitted lace. That might look nice in the snow. There is the snow. The sunflower book. Hmm. This was just a little piece of lace that was I found in a book. And then this is gorgeous. And it says his. So this was supposed to go on a towel probably. And this one says her. So I'm thinking those were edgings for towels that just never got attached. Um, I didn't pay $3 for this. This is from the Way and Pay. And there's just some little images in here that are worth um, fussy cutting. They're just tiny. So, um, you know, for collaging or whatever. So I'll have some fun with that. I might go and sit with that right now and do some cutting. Anyway, so that's my thrift haul for this past week. Um, got some work ahead of me. So, thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon.